Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, everybody out there, wherever you are, whatever state you're in, whether hmm, Alabama, Kentucky, hmm, Tennessee, Oklahoma, Texas, confusion, <laughs> state of confusion, get it? Oh, jeez, okay, so... Hopefully some people are no longer in California. A whole bunch of people that shouldn't be in Hawaii. A lot of people that shouldn't never have been in Hawaii. I guess they found out now. A lot of people never should have been in California. Or should have gotten out a long time ago. Uh, it's too late. It's going to be that way for a lot of people. Alright, Thanksgiving Part 3. And hopefully tonight will go better than last night. Although it has not started out well. Uh, not even going to start on that. Luke came into the kitchen in his bathroom and went to the stove where the coffee pot gently steamed. John looked up from the waffle iron he was tending and said, You're up mighty early, Doc. Since you're here, how about turning those ham slices in the pan there? The doctor picked up a fork and began to turn over the slices of meat gently browning in the pan. When you're a surgeon, you get up. You get used to being up early since OR calls typically starts at 7 a.m. Never could get used to just lying in bed late on weekends. Why are you cooking breakfast? Don't the girls usually rustle this up? The other man grinned and said, Oh, it's something of a horn family tradition. The day after Thanksgiving, I get up early and cook breakfast for the girls since they usually spend the whole day before putting the big meal together. Usually do it with Dad, but he must still be feeling poorly from last night because he usually gets up before I do. Since you're here, you can help instead. Hmm. Luke looked interested and said, Okay, what, do you want, what would you like me to do? John took down a cast iron waffle iron from an overhead cupboard and set it on the gas stove and turned the fire on underneath. I can't man two irons. Fry the ham and tend the sauce all at the same time. I can't man two irons. Fry the ham and tend the sauce all at the same time. So I hadn't gotten this one out. Give it a minute to heat up, though, and then spray it with a cooking spray. A ladle of batter will coat the bottom iron, then bring the top iron down onto it. Give it about a minute and a half to two minutes, then turn the iron over on the fire and let the other side cook. Don't worry if you burn the first one. We did, too, the first couple of times we used it. You'll get the hang of it right quick. In the interim, that pot there has the peach sauce for the waffles, in which in it, which needs to cook down a bit more. Stir it frequently to keep it from sticking. I don't think I can handle that. You look like you know your way around the kitchen. Do you cook much? Actually, not as much now that I'm home full-time as when Ann and I both worked, John answered. We used to split the cooking chores depending on what the other one had to do that night. Now Ann's gone all week, and I'm nearly full-time busy trying to make this place a going concern, so it's mostly Heather, Brittany, and Melinda that do the cooking now. Mel is coming along pretty well for her age, but since Heather came, they've all three been blossoming and learning a lot. You should see them sitting down with the big joy of cooking book, talking about what they want to try next and how to substitute for ingredients we don't have or can't get. Oh, we get the occasional meal that we just have to force down since we don't have enough food to throw away, throw any away because it didn't come out like they thought it would, but for the most part they've done right well. I never really did learn to cook. Luke, Luke looked thoughtfully at the frying ham, at least not in the make-a-cake-from-scratch sort of cooking, I suppose because my family was in the traditional gender role mindset. When I left home, there was too much schoolwork or partying to want to cook. Then in med school, then in med school, there simply wasn't time. Lisa was working when I met her, and except for about four months, she took off when Heather was born. She kept on working, so except for special occasions, we didn't do a lot of cooking at home. This is a new experience for Heather, so I can see how she's taking well to it. It may say gourmet on the label, but a frozen waffle is still a frozen waffle. Anyone can pop one in a toaster oven, but make your waffles, your own waffles from scratch is an accomplishment. The two men talked for a time about the ins and outs of cooking and the differences between the way men and women went about it. The stack of waffles grew taller in the warm oven and the smell of food infused throughout the house. Lisa came in the kitchen shortly after, yawning and owl-eyed, followed by the three girls. Anne followed them a moment later, still trying, 
untying the sash of her robe. Well, there's our sleepy heads, John said brightly. You'll notice how Luke, you'll notice, Luke, how they showed up just as the last waffle was coming off the iron. I'm going to stop it there.